This is the Loxia 85mm f2.4 lens. This lens is a stellar performer, top notch, performs as good if not better than the Loxia 21, which I think is an excellent lens. Uh, it's, it's probably one of the best lenses I own for the Sony E-mount. Here, here are some thoughts on the lens. Wide open at f2.4, there's some slight vignetting, nothing, nothing major. The distortion, in my opinion, is almost virtually unnoticeable. There are no lens correction profiles yet in Lightroom or Capture One Pro for Sony that I've seen come through. The, the de-clicking of the aperture ring is nice, so if, you're in, if you shoot video, this is a big plus to me. The manual focus throw, also another big plus. The manual focus throw is not fly-by-wire, you know, it, it's, it's mechanical, so you know exactly what to expect when you use it. This also fits in this configuration, lens down, lens hood, mounted on, mounted on just like normal, camera down on the a7 II in a Hadley Small. And it's about a quarter inch too tall, but that's okay because the Hadley has a, a top flap, top padded flap that comes down. The bokeh is nice. I wouldn't say it's the best in the world. It's definitely not Battis 1.8 or Goldmaster 1.4. I recently traveled to the Columbia River Gorge and I took the Battis line, I took the 18, 25, and 85. I feel like that if I'd have had the Loxia 85, I probably would have opted for the Loxia 85 because my backpack, I had a flip side 10 liter backpack, so it was a very small pack I had. The Loxia would allow me a little bit more room. The 85 made things tight. We have done some shots in studio and it shoots well in studio. You don't have eye autofocus, but you do have focus magnification and peaking. From a photo point of view, Maybe not the first lens you grab in the 85 millimeter focal length. I feel like the Loxia feels a, feels a niche, and it's just that, it's a niche. It feels good on the camera, it focuses well. I, I love the manual focus. The aperture ring could be a little thicker. I think before in earlier videos, I said it didn't bother me. Uh, it could be could be in a little wider, that would've been nice. Besides that, it's, a, it's another good lens by, by Zeiss, and, but I don't feel like there's going to be a horde of people looking for a slower 85 millimeter lens. If you're looking at an 85 millimeter focal length, you have to ask yourself a few questions. Are you ready for an all manual lens? Do you want to give up eye autofocus? Do you video? Do you do serious video? How important is weight? So there are a lot of, a lot of factors that go into, is this lens right for you? Only you can answer that. And at $1,400, it has a hefty price tag, but what Sony lens these days doesn't have a hefty price tag. Thanks for watching my thoughts on the Loxia 85 2.4. Please subscribe if you want, give a thumbs up, and let us know what you think about the Loxia.